Hello folks, and welcome back to Let Us Play Temple of Elemental Evil. Last we left off, I had successfully allowed the carpenter to convert to the old faith so that he can follow his heart. God, I'm a regular old freaking, um, uh, what's the word? Cupid. Romeo. Whatever. Anyways, point is, I've got another such quest that I need to do, uh, which is requires me to go back near the very very start of the town all the way yes. over here which is a little bit annoying but at the same time it's all right i suppose and if the sound keeps on cutting out that's sure. me clicking off of the game window so shush so, so now i'll have to go into this house and talk to the lady gwen as i already did that Did I already convince the carpenter? No, I hadn't yet. I have to figure out what it was that the carpenter... No way to follow them. I had to figure out what it is the carpenter... Trying to pair up brother-in-law Felican with a... Wait. Let's screw this up. Because the carpenter wants to... Hmm. Have I solved this? Back time, have I anything interesting? Uh, no. I think she's trying to flirt with Mario. Okay. Of which I would say I don't think Mario is that much against. I don't know. Mario will have to tell me. Hey Mario, you like random women flirting with you? Dude doesn't watch my videos. Watch I say that, and then he's going to, like... Okay, there's the miller. Carpenter. Ha! Well, of course I can do that. I know you can do that. I just want you to do this. Anyways. So, it's... I don't know. I, I keep on going down this list and going, Oh, hey, I did that one, I did that one, I did that one. And then I realized that some of these I have not done. Like, this Cupid Arrow one that I have to do involves me essentially getting Mathilde... I don't know. Uh, right. A few more questions. Guess I heard the good news. Jeru has agreed to perform your conversion to the Old Faith. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Already we can sense that the townspeople are receiving us better, and Althea and I have begun to plan our weddings. Enjoy it, Merrick. You deserve it. Is that it? Have they been treating you any better? Things might work out for us. Cool. Well, Felican really needs a new barn. Could you build one for him now? Yeah, I suppose I can move that to the top of the priority list now. I mean, now that it's all sort of family business. As long as you're sure the Wilder Mathil's really going to pay for it. I'll go check with her now about the payment. Okay. Yeah. This is me just going in the wrong order and not talking to the right people. Which is a thing. I do a lot. Okay. Right like, away. holy crap, I do Will it a do. lot. Annoyingly so. I find it annoying. I can only imagine post me is going to find it really annoying when I have to, you know, tell him to edit this, edit that. In this case, I might have to edit a little bit of, you know, my silence as I stare at this screen and go, huh, how did I screw this up? Much like how I did several hundred times in Darkstone. Uh, let's see. Carpenter says he'll build a farm for Finnegan. Filikin, looks like your family feud is finally come to an end. Yes, thank you so much for your help. Hopefully Filikin will ask the Widow Mathilde out now. Perhaps, madam, you can answer a few more questions? Okay, so now I have to go to... I'm off! Um... Kelsey, something's wrong with your cloak. What is happening with your cloak? Please make it stop. 
I'm, I'm assuming that's her cloak. I would be terrified if that was yeah. what's happening with her face. We good? No more of that? Where am I? Hello, sir. I am Mario. Well, Mario, my name is Hroth Rinton. I'm ca captain of the local militia. Oh! Ah, yes. Jenner the tailor has told me about you. Is that so? Well, I'm just an old farmer. I mostly answer to Rufus nowadays. On most things, that is. Does that include keeping Jernith from serving in the militia? Well, now that Jernith business was my decision. We need to defend the town from orcs and such, not offer to sew on their buttons. Jernith is a nice fellow and all, but he's just not the man we need for the post. Well, what if he made uniforms for all the men in the militia? That's a right good idea, son. Certainly them in for doing that. Great. I'll go tell him. One more yeah. quest. <laughs> One more quest nearly done. So where the hell was this guy, right? No. It's the Delco guy. Okay. Was it this guy? Crap it. Cause this was a large ass barn. I'll figure it out soon enough. <laughs> I'm not gonna figure it out at all. Uh, Terim? No, you were the dude with the family. I'll get it done. Okay. So now what then? Where the hell was Filikin? One moment. Ah! Game? No! Come on! Okay. Getting control back of my game here. Yes? Okay, I think Filikin's back in here. It shouldn't be too hard. Nah. Eh. Yes. In the house. Felicans in here. I'm gonna be happy. Hello. Althea, Melini, Felican. I told you before. Leave me be. Now get off my land. I've come on important farm business. State your business, traveler. Uh. Wait, what? I have a barn? I'm, I'm not the one with the... I mean, there is a barn that's... Been, you know what? Did my brother personally put you up to this? He's just trying to get his... I was sure about... Eh. Been fodder. Doja is my brother. No. Ah, screwing this up. Wait, I freed up the carpenter to make a new barn for you. Don't have time to deal with a new barn or doing deeds for my brother. My business at hand is too important to be waylaid by new barns and no blacks. You should have really tried to get out more. No, my work is too important. Uh. Common important barn business? Why would the grove need a donation of hay? Well, perhaps just some money then. Could think achieving a nice balance between the prosperity such as yourself and the less fortunate be something to strive for. Three? To my first. Ugh, God damn it! What the hell, Philikin? One moment. Yeah, I think I gotta go back to Mathilde's. Yes. <sighs> Here I was, kind of, sort of thinking that I would be able to get to level up this episode. Maybe. I don't know. It depends on how much. The matron. A fine looking stock you have. Oh, are you talking about the kids? Well, Matt, I am Winna. Oh, you must be new around here. We haven't been getting as many visitors around here lately. I'm Mathild. I live here with my two sons and eight grandchildren. Wow. No look a day past 30. Thank you. I've been fortunate to have retained some of my youthful looks. But I assure you, those eight kids out there are my grandchildren. Okay. <laughs> wow. As uh, blatant as a mall, huh? Gwyneth tells me that you kind of like Felican. 
I'd love to buy Felican a new barn and just end that silly feud he has with Percy. I'm certainly well off enough to do that. Then maybe he'd take some notice of me, but that carpenter fellow is just too busy. I was able to convince the carpenter to buy and build a new barn now, assuming you have interest enough in Felican to pay for the barn. I'm quite fond of Felican. He's just been too busy feuding with Percy or too involved in his work to notice me. Now I'll have to talk to the carpenter about paying for that barn. Thanks, son. No problem. I'm gonna... I'm gonna talk to the old yes. coot and see if he's actually going to respond with anything that's not... not get off my lawn! Okay. There's that drunkard again. See you later, Elmo. I'm never gonna use you. Ever. <clears throat> All right. I'm born in. I don't like to get involved, but the Wild of Mathilde is obviously interested in you. Would you not give it her a chance? She's a wonderful lady, but I wouldn't be fair to Talisha, my late wife. Not yet, it wouldn't. Not by the old faith. I'll go check with Drew on that. Ain't nothing gonna bring her back, no, please. It would be. I mean. Technically, a resurrection spell yes, would, sir. but I guess that would cost like ten thousand gold. Well, of course. Material components in D and D are weird. Like a full-on resurrection spell requires you to have, I think, diamond dust from a diamond that was worth ten thousand gold. Yeah. Needless to say, it's not a level one spell. Hello again. Uh, question about the old faith. Yes, my son. What is it you would know? Within the old faith, would one full year be enough to properly mourn a lost spouse? Yes. The old faith requires one year of mourning for a lost spouse, but after that time, it is permissible, if not encouraged, to court again. All right, then. That answer that question. Sure. Back to Felican. Felican really needs to read, uh... It's not yes. called the Bible. The Holy Book of freaking the Old Faith, whatever the hell it's called. Uh, if I look this up immediately, then you know, post me, figure that shit out. Filikin? Uh, you have more farm business for me there? Really should pay a visit to the Willow Mathilde. She's very sweet on you. Blah, blah, blah. I've talked to Drew. He says after a year, you're encouraged to court anew. Maybe you're right. It's been long enough. Maybe my dear beloved Talisha, rest in peace. She'll always be part with you, Philigan, but she'd want you to be happy too. Now go invite Mathilde over for dinner. Perhaps, you, <laughs> perhaps you're right. She says she can arrange to get a new barn out back too. That should clear things up between Percy and me. Thank you. That's the spirit. Good luck, man. Did, did I win? That was not the... Did I do the good? Or is that the Cupid's arrow be done? Yes! Alright, how much XP did I get for the bard? <sighs> Alright, see what else is on this quest list. I can talk to Filikin in his house again about another problem he has. Why don't we do just that? Uh, you and Mathilde seem more prosperous than ever. We're doing well, thanks, but I can't help but notice some of my wealth has been sneaking away. Normally wouldn't mind too much, but I just don't like the idea of someone sneaking around in here. Well, I can't be sure. Some of the farmers around town are, aren't doing as well as Percy and me. They got young ones to feed. I checked with some of them myself, but I hate to go around accusing people of ain't got no facts. I'll go check around and see if I can find anything. Sure. So if I recall this, was it? Glitchy cloak. Should I just remove the cloak? Kelsey, I know you like your cloak. You don't have a cloak. What is doing that then? It's not your armor, is it? Pretty sure it was, it's Kelsey who's... Yeah, I don't know what it is, but it's Kelsey's armor that is causing that. That's weird. Please don't glitch out this time. Okay. Whew. Let's see. So now I have to... Well, I can. Wait inside. Yes. Alright. 
This one is a relatively fast... Shut your face. <sighs> so, pretty much, I'm going to pass time until the evening. Seven whole hours. I'm pretty sure I could have killed that Will time do. doing something else. Getting drunk at the tavern. Something. Another drinking contest. I love having drinking contests and losing them. Because that's not a nuisance. Now, I am looking for a guy. I'm sorry if this is a, a dark situation right here, but it's pretty damn dark for me, too. Where is it? Because that's the tavern. Oh, wait. Oh, there he is. Excuse me, fellow. You're on private property, sir. And that's not good. Uh, sir? Sir? Oh, hello there. What are you doing out here? Who are you? I was just paying a visit to my old friend, Felikin. It looks like they're all in bed, though, so come back in the morning. It's awfully late for you to be paying a visit, wouldn't you say? I couldn't sleep. It was kind of an important matter, and I thought I'd wander over to the off chance that he was awake. And I suppose that small bag in your hand is just grain you wanted to ask him about. All right, all right. It's me that's been stealing from Filikin. My poor son hasn't eaten in days, and my little daughter stew. Don't know what else I can do. I found Filikin's hidden stash in the manure pile. I couldn't resist. Wow, that is desperate. That is desperate. In the manure pile. <laughs> you must be punished for what you've done now. Uh. I'll let you go if you hand over what you've stolen and promise never to steal again. Thank you. Here you go. This is all that I've ever stolen from Philic and I promise. I'll try to come up with a more honest way to feed my family. I promise. Okay, Othello. The room might be able to help you in the meantime. And you might find work in that tower for Burn and Rufus. Eh, it wasn't a terribly big... It, it could have gone far more violently. Let's put it that way. It could have gone far, far more violently. Where is everyone? Uh. What? The hell? Guys. Right away. Go. D no, just in between the house there. Thank you. God damn it. It's like trying to herd sheep sometimes. Uh, Philikin. I got some good news. Actually, wait, 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 wait. How much did he steal? It's like five platinum. Jesus. Found out who's been stealing from you. Really? That's great news. Tell me what you've learned. He's been swiping treasure from your hidden croc... Crook? Croc? Whatever. In the manure pile. He admitted everything. And then what? We got him to promise to stop, and I believe it's over. He's not an evil man. I promise I would not embarrass him and his family by revealing him. That might sound all good and well to you, but in the meantime, I'm out about five plat. What do you think about that? Ah, uh, okay. So I could tell him to shove off about it. Nah, I'm gonna give him the five plat to cover his losses. Oh, thank you so much. It's so helpful for me and my family. Here, at least take some of this as your reward. Yeah, thank you. Okay, he gave me more than five. Pl he gave me far more than five plat. That is way more than five platinum. Sure. Okay. So that's that quest done. A little bit more XP. I am one thousand or one thousand one hundred and fifteen experience away from a level up. All right. So. This next one apparently has a really big payoff. And it involves going... Jesus. Yeah. It involves going back in here. And talking to a certain someone's daughter. Hello again. Good to see you again. I'm doing quite well, thank you. 
I wish the local merchants would bring in more books, though. I just love to read about adventures. How does your father manage all your kids? Since our mother passed on, he's hired Roddy, the manservant. But none of us like Roddy too much. I wish father would get out more. What's wrong with Roddy? Oh, nothing really. He just apes everything father says and does. I wish he'd be a little more fun. Our mama could really make us laugh. How I miss her. Sad to hear about your mother. My condolences. Thank you. It's been hard without mother. Especially on the little ones. But we're going to get through this. Hmm. Hello again. I'm doing quite well, thank you. I wish the local merchant... Adventures... Sometimes I like to sneak away to the... Oh, yeah. Shiza. Do I not... Potion of protection from outsiders. Cure light wounds. Heal. Oh, full on potion of heal. Okay. That's strange. Unless I have to actually full on... Crap it. Might actually put on this hoodlet circlet instead of the black wizard hat. Although the black wizard hat it I thought I sold this. Hmm. Suspicious. Alright, um hmm. I'm off. So uh with a fairly high charisma. Okay, so essentially what this is is a quest wherein I'm going to get Mario to be romantically involved with Melanie. That's the gist of the quest, but the problem seems to be that for some reason okay, that's not what's happening, which is weird because it just says a fairly high well, of charisma do that. is needed. So, do I have to go back to... Hmm. Oh! Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Guys, cancel all your actions. Cancel all the actions. Get back in there. Yes, sir. Mario, do some wooing. I really need to read all of the thing before I decide on an action. Alright. Mario. Get over there. Hello again. Woo this I'm lovely lady. Well, thank you. I wish the... Sometimes Where's that? Oh, it's a bit north of here. I'll show you on your map. Why does your father think it isn't safe? Daddy says that the ochre jellies like to ambush people on their way to the grove. He says they're really scary, but I'm not afraid of any ochre jelly. I would gladly protect a beautiful maiden such as yourself from the foul advances of an ochre jelly. My hero! <laughs> I'm really enjoying talking to you. You're not at all like the other boys around here. They're all so... boring. <laughs> Uh, verily enjoying conversation with you as well. Perhaps, perhaps I shall call on you again. See that you do. Oh my. Well, now I could ask her to join us. Hello again. Okay. Uh, Melanie, I could not wait to see you again. Please join me on my adventure. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. Yes, I will come with you. Oh, wait. Father would never allow it. I cannot disobey him. What would it take for you to join me? Well, I know it's a bit sudden. But, if you were to ask for my hand in marriage, Father would have to let me go. Well? Yes, I will marry you. But first you must go ask Father for permission. Once he's given his blessing, then we shall marry, and I can join you on your adventure. It will be great to have you with me. I'll go talk to your father. Oh, that would be wonderful. I love you. We have just met, and yet I feel like I've known you for a lifetime. I'll go talk to your father. <laughs> oh, this quest. Is, um, Melody's hand available for marriage? Not if I cut off yours. What? Ellie ain't available for nothing until her sister Althea is married. You're not from around these parts, are you? Um, but I've spoken with Merrick. He's converted to the old faith, so now that Althea can you marry him. Well, that would make Melanie next in line, but I have to tell you, she's really special to me. She's not running off in some first good-looking stranger she's met, I can tell you that. Of course, sir. I can assure you that my morals are nothing but honorable. I suppose I can't get in the way of true love now, can I? I suppose if she's really in love, 
and you really love her, and you promise to treat her right, I'll allow you to marry. First Althea, now my Melanie. He'll soon they grow up. I promise she'll be treated with all the care she deserves. Woo! Then go to her, and be happy. <sighs> and accept this fat magical sword as a dowry. Magical sword? Oh, this is a radiant longsword. What's a radiant longsword? It's a plus one holy longsword. Which means that this thing is going to wreck face on everything. And I do mean everything. On top of that, we actually leveled up. Finally. So, as you can tell, dude is still going to go barbarian. Although I could go favorite soul, but hey, it's actually showing up the uh, these classes. So, the way I'm planning it is that Darius is going to pretty much go either straight up... Oh, got to be lawful. <laughs> Screw that noise. Uh, is going to go straight up barbarian. Uh, there's nothing else he can do in this list anyways. So, barbarian. Yes. With the skills, gonna put it into. Well, intimidate's kind of a non option. Ah, I always hate that. 0.5. Because it doesn't count as an additional rank, it's just a flat bleh. Which is bleh. Who the hell even has intimidate right now? Where the hell else? Just move silently. What else? Don't know why I bothered putting it in hide, but that's pretty much... Yeah. Andrew! Oh god, look at my HP now. Andrew, who I actually... Who was it I was planning? That's right. I was planning on having Andrew take a level of Cleric. As a follower of Cord, he shall be full of strength. And luck. I uh, suppose... Oh, wait. See, one of the biggest reasons why I was thinking getting Cleric up for him was because of Turn on Dead. Unfortunately, because of his charisma... Yeah. That's not gonna fly too well. Alright, in which case I'll... We'll make him straight up... Fighter. Crap, I've completely forgot about his charisma for. Her. Ah, that's balls. Complete and total balls, I say. But now he gets a bonus feat. Could take great fortitude, but. Eh. Proved initiative. Oh. It has to be one of these yellow feats, because this is a bonus feat granted to him from being a fighter. So, I might as well go longsword, seeing as he's going to use this longsword for quite some time. Yeah. Now, Kelsey is eventually... Or rather, she would eventually go into Assassin, but that ain't gonna happen because no one's evil in this party. Oh, they don't have the Shadow Dancer in this? Damn. So I could have her go Ranger. I probably should have had her go Ranger in the first place. Come to think of it. That would have made more sense. Ugh. Alright, what are the features I get here? So, I would get a specific type of pers- of, uh, favorite enemy, which is essentially a flat bonus to hit and damage, with it increasing as I level up. But I'm not really seeing one that would... immediate- oh, maybe giant? Oh, her primary... Oh, Jesus. I only just realized that. Right, might as well go for her second level of fighter, then. She's 
got pretty much the same things going for her as our resident uh, battle turtle. But if I do weapon focus her with a rapier, that would mean that her attacks would actually, you know, hit. Yeah, that seems fair. And hey, that's pretty much building her much like how her actual player would have her be built, so. Rogue. Oh, jeez. Spell points up the wazoo! So many spell points. Why, why perform? Nothing in perform. Screw perform. Performing is for the bards. There we go. That should do that. And finally to Winna, who, thanks to my stupidity, is actually kind of underutilized because I, uh, when I had asked her how she wanted her character to be made, she had just said, use lightning spells. It's like, great, lightning spells, completely forgetting about magic missile. Let's see, true strike. Deuce person. Raven. Ray of clumsiness would be fan freaking tastic, actually. Ooh, that would actually be really good now that I think about it. <clears throat> Alright. So, I'm gonna leave leveling up the bard in a little bit of suspense. Because I wanna ask Mario about how he would like his character leveled up. And. Actually, wait. You know what? Screw asking the guy. Mario, you're going to level multi-class as a cleric. With luck and protection. Actually, the protection might be really good. One of the domain powers of protection is that he gets a flat plus one bonus to his AC. Which is fantastic. And he still get gets ranks in... Diplomacy and concentra- Oh, suppose concentration would have been good before. But also spellcraft. Uh, with one more point to spare. I guess heal so as not, you know, just whatever. So now, he is a clerk. Clerical yes. bard. Ooh, he could go Mystic Thurge. Man, why did I think about that in the first place? He could totally Mystic Thurge it up. That said, though, I do have to prepare his spells. Yeah, here we are. <laughs> I'm essentially just gonna have him be the Cure Light Wounds bot. Uh, let's see. Cure Minor Wounds is also pretty good, but I will also prepare Read Magic just in case. Also, Domain Spells. This is nice. Uh, let's give him Entropic Shield. See, a domain spell is what you get when you're leveling, when you go cleric and you select a specific god. Gods have domains. Domains give you spells and powers. In this case, it's giving him Entropic Shield as a bonus spell, as well as Sanctuary, but you can only prepare one of them today. So... That said, I'm going to go yes, sir. have a full eight hours rest up in the tavern. And when that's done, everyone should be able to cast all their fun little spells. Actually, I do have to prepare winners as well. Mm. Yes. But that's not going to be such an issue. Because I can just do it right now. Really quickly. Quicker! Yeah, I'm not even sure why the hell I was all like, yeah, Matt, Shocking Grass is cool. I mean, it is a cool spell. It's just that it's not the best to use <laughs> in all situations. All right, rest. Uh, eight hours. Boom, everyone's rested. Well, of course I can do that. When we return, though, I'm going to see about challenging this Torello guy. Leveled up! Uh, I'm gonna challenge this Tuparello guy one last time. 
in a duel of the drinking. So, thank you all for watching, and I shall see you guys in the next dungeon. Take care. Cheers.